Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining me. My name is Nuclear, and today I'm going to show you my method to completing nuclear silo bunkers quickly and effectively in Fallout 76. A few things you'll need. Complete the Bunker Buster quest. Reach the rank of general, a nuclear key card, stim packs, level 3 lock picking and hacker, and optional, the speed demon mutation will help it move along a little faster. So, to see if you have a nuclear key card, go ahead and jump into your pit boy and you're going to go under miscellaneous and then look for nuclear key card. This is what it'll look like. Next, what we want to do um, is we want to pick one of our sites. So, there's three nuclear sites. Uh, I'm particularly favorite site alpha so we're gonna go there today as you get there um, you're gonna run inside this little shack and right inside the shack here is a overseer's cache generally there's some form of water dirty water purified water something like that and a food item just pick it up it's good to grab those so we're gonna head on over to the elevator here press the hand scanner and go on down into the bunker once we're in the bunker we want to make sure we have those perks applied so we want all three levels of hacker and all three levels of lock picking. I want to make sure those are applied so we don't have to deal with it later on in the bunker when we need to use those perks. Um, you're more than welcome to change them in and out when you need to um, help you buff whichever way you're buffing. So what we're going to do is we're going to run through this room, go through that little door at the end, and come into this room. This is where the biometric scanner computer is. But first we need to find a little blue key card like this one here. So they're laying all over the bunker. You can pretty much find them anywhere. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run down this hallway all the way to the end into this room and I would recommend closing the door. Helps you a little bit because you have to jump out of your power armor and then run over to the biometric scanner. It's gonna scan your uh, biometric blueprint so we can flash it onto that little blue card with that first machine we showed you. So we'll hop on out of there and we're going to hop back in our power armor and we'll go out this door and all the way back down that hallway to the right and then to the left through this door and we're going to swipe our key card on the ID card eraser. Jump into the system terminal. We're going to scroll down to fabricate biometric ID. And then we're set. We're going to hop out of the terminal. We're going to go back through this door and take our second left. And go here and scan our card on the little ID scanner there. Um, it's called the ID card register system. I'm going to run back out to that first main room and run through the laser wire. Now we're going to go right and we're going to run all the way down to the end of this hall. Um, sometimes there's some enemies, but don't worry about them. Come into this room and knock out the few enemies that there are. Um, because we're going to jump on this terminal. And uh, this, this is one of the spots where you need that hacker perk. Um, you'll need it in another point as well, but don't forget that you have four attempts at this. If you get to the third one, go ahead back out and go back in and you'll get your four attempts again. If you do all four and don't seem to get the password, then it messes it up a little bit. So what you want to do is if you've used three of them and you're on your fourth attempt, you're just going to want to jump out of that and hop back in and then redo it. So it's going to give us turret control. If we remove targeting restrictions, it's going to start to attack the robots in there. As well as it can still attack us, we can deactivate, which turns it off, but that helps us a little bit. And then we can shut down the lead engineer as well. Just another enemy we don't have to deal with. So we're going to run out this door, open this door, and take a left immediately. And we're going to come upon a door that's a level 3 lockpick. So if we do this, we skip having to reset the nuclear reactor. And we can just go in here. We want to destroy the turrets and any enemies that might be in here. And then we're going to hop on this computer here. Same thing as before, um, you have four attempts. If you get to the third, you can see I get to the third, don't make it, I hop back out and go back in uh, until I get it unlocked. So we're going to confirm the override. We're going to hop out of the computer. We're going to go through this door to our left and then head right through that tunnel, right again, and then take a left. In here we have these little mainframe cores. So what we need to do is walk up to each single one of them and click A, or what you can use is you can melee them, you can shoot them. A really good weapon you can use is a flamer or a pyrolyzer. Um, kind of knocks them all out really quick. 
Um, but what you want to do is make sure you knock out these enemies and these turrets because they're going to start eat some damage into you and really knock that health away. Um, so knock those down if you can. And then keep trucking. There's quite a few of them. You want to hit as many as you can until you get that little bar that says destroy the mainframe in the right corner all the way down to zero. Once that happens, um, we'll be able to get through the two sets of laser wires and then move into the next section. Something else you can do in these areas is uh, there are terminals that you can hop on and unlock. Um, they'll let you reset the turret controls the same way we did in that first one, where they'll turn on the other robots in the area and start to kill them. Um, you can do that if you like. Uh, I'm willing to just take the damage and destroy the mainframe cores as we go. And then I just knock out the turrets and the enemies that get in my way. Um, but feel free to do that. It could help you out a little bit, um, depending on what level you are and how many HP points you really have. So once we've knocked out enough mainframe cores, it'll say completed right above that little bar that was in the right hand corner of your screen. Um, we'll be able to go through this door and down this little walkway. There's always an assault tron in here. Sometimes it's cloaked right off the bat. Sometimes it's not. You can see in mine that it cloaked once I started to attack it. Continue down this hallway and up the stairs. We're going to take a left and then in this little room, um, there's going to be three turrets and a few enemies. We just want to knock those out to make this a little bit of a safe area for us to use um, in this next section. So we'll open up this door. There's quite a few enemies and turrets in this area. We'll just want to knock them out. And in this little room here, there is a power armor spawn. You can see if there's something you want, fusion core. And just to my left there, there was a tinkerer's bench. Um, we'll need that tinkerer's bench in just a second. So we're just going to knock out some enemies. All right, so this little area here are damaged mainframe cores. So you're going to want to knock all of these out. Um, what you can do once you've collected them is you can go back to that tinkerer's bench and repair them. It falls under quest items. There's also plenty of mainframe cores that are fixed laying around. Um, you'll be able to pick those up and throw them in the slots or if you need to repair them you can do that as well. Um, you can see I hop in the terminal and it says error and I'm like what the heck's going on? And I look and I hop back in and I'm like what? And I realize that I had left one right there on the right so... <laughs> Sometimes you forget one, just make sure you watch out carefully. So we're going to open that security door, it's just to the left of these terminals. We're going to take a left through the missile silo. We're going to go in here and go up two sets of staircases. And then this room is going to be really dark. The lights are going to turn on, you're going to run up those stairs, try to destroy the turrets if you can, and then kill that assault tron. There's always an assault tron there. And then you can hop in this little room. This little room will kind of act as a little safe room for you. The enemies will funnel that way. Um, my pick or my uh, axe broke so I had to fix it in that room which since it's a little safe room allowed me to. So I'm gonna run back out and I'm just gonna run around and I usually knock out as many turrets as I can that kind of shoot me on this main little platform up here. Um, I'll also try to kill off you know the assault trons, the robo brains, uh, the Mr. Gutsies, the Colonel Gutsies all over the place. Knock them out as much as you can. So once you hop on this computer you're going to run all the way down to the bottom and initiate um, the launch procedure. And what that's going to do is it's going to start to create crew chiefs, um, little red robots. Um, and they're going to push that bar up in the top right hand corner along uh, until it's all the way full. So as time progresses, it's going to spawn more and more crew chiefs. And if you can protect them, it's going to help push that bar along a little faster. So do your best to protect them. If I mean, if one or two die here and there, it's okay. It'll just slow down the bar process a little bit, but just do your best to protect them. It's not too hard when you're doing it solo. Not as many enemies spawn. Go make sure and knock out those turrets so they're not just shooting away at those little friendly crew chiefs. Once that bar is filled up all the way to the right, and what we're going to want to do is run over here, just under the walkway that we started on, there's going to be three little terminal things we can use. On the left side here, you're going to want to swipe your nucle nuclear key card. Then you're going to go to the right and type in your launch code. So there are a lot of subreddits that post the weekly launch codes for each silo, as well as a few different websites. Um, I'm not going to name any out in particular. Uh, they're pretty easy to find. Just a Google search or Reddit search will help you find that. And I'm going to launch it right over here, just between the two fissure sites. 
Um, this particular time I was going to farm Violet Flux, and if you launch it here, it's a really good position to uh, get a lot of Violet Flux, which uh, I'll go ahead and maybe I'll post a video uh, about getting Violet Flux or something like that in the future if you guys like to see that. Um, and that's how I run the, the silo. You can get it done in about 10-15 minutes if you just focus on doing the little parts all the way along and not really focus on the enemies. I mean, if you're looking for the XP, if you're looking for, you know, the scrap, stuff like that, go ahead and fight those enemies. But if you're just trying to do a speed run, get it done as fast as possible, just run through that bunker, um, kill the things off that are giving a lot of damage to you, and uh, push forward. But what I normally do is I just run through it as fast as I can, get that nuke launched, and then go do whatever I'm doing, whether it's, you know, White Springs or the Fissure Sites or anything like that. If you uh, found this helpful, Go ahead, let me know in the comments. I'd like to know what videos you guys would like to see. I'm fairly new to this, I'm sure you can tell. So if you have any feedback at all, go ahead, leave it in the comments, let me know. Um, if you want to see more videos, hit that subscribe button. Thanks guys, we'll see you next time.